so yeah that was the gaming performance ask me it's very smooth like you would not find any kind of frame drop in this rom i've tried pixel experience and there it was not really this smooth What's up guys Saurav here in this video I'll be doing a performance test of one of my favorite custom roms and these would be the parameters that I would be basically testing the roms on in this series so make sure you subscribe to the channel so as to get all the latest videos updates regularly that's it let's start if you want to install custom rom in your phone and if you have not much experience to it I'll leave a link in the description so that you can check it out and install a custom rom on your phone safely With that said, the very first thing that I'm going to tell about this ROM is that the name of the custom ROM is Evolution X, and I am currently on the latest build, which is Evolution X version 4.6, a security patch edition, 5th August 2020. With that said, the first point that I'm looking for in this ROM is the blot pairs. Surprisingly enough. After installation of this ROM, I didn't really find any bloatware. So this ROM, Evolution X, comes with a zero bloatware installed, which is a very nice thing. Coming on to the smoothness of the animations, there is literally animation everywhere. For each and every action that you do, you will see some kind of animation, and those animation often are very smooth. Like when you're opening an application, then you're closing them. Those animations are always there, and Switching between the applications as well feel very smooth, but at times it lags. Like those are very few occurrences, but yes, it does happen. And also, you can have multiple applications open and then switch between them without even noticing any kind of jitter. So animation-wise, it's smooth. Talking about the customization options, most of the options of this ROM are for customization. is in the evolver settings so once you are there you can see a lot of customization which you can play around to get your device tweaked up according to you i'll show you some of them so first one is themes you can select any accent color then in dark theme you have a lot of things as well i prefer going for pitch black because that makes everything totally black then you have headline font body you can change the font according to the device as well like here icon shapes is also there then status bar icons are there so this is only for based on themes if you go to the status bar you have network traffic round corners career label battery bar and tons of stuff icons that you can enable disable so if you go to the status bar option you will see a lot of options here as well like starting with clock options you can change the clock settings you can change the showing settings where it should show left or right then the font size of the clock then battery bar options is there network traffic indicators on the top that you see when you download stuff like that one is there then rounded corners is there battery style you have that covered in terms of features and customization option you get the most of it and yes it's really having each and every customization option that you can find on any rom i think as far as i've seen so that was for the customization part coming to the camera the application comes pre installed and this is an anx camera which does a pretty good job in taking the photos and every mode that you originally have in a uh, miui camera works so that's a good thing as well I'll share some camera samples here for you. Talking about the battery optimization of this ROM, I'm impressed, I would say. The charging of the battery takes 30 minutes to charge from 0 to 50% of the phone, and also the on-screen time that I received last night, I took a screenshot, was 8 hours and 29 minutes. Next test is a PUBG test. So you know it's about the performance of the course. So let's see how it is and what are the settings that you actually get. So let's go to the settings of graphics to see what are the settings that you will be playing it on. So in this room easily HDR extreme anti aliasing on and you can play the game like butter. There is literally no lag in terms of frames. and it's as smooth as that 
let me quickly fire up a game so that we can see the gameplay as well So yeah, that was the gaming performance and ask me it's very smooth like you would not find any kind of frame drop in this ROM. I've tried pixel experience and there it was not really this smooth. Let's talk about the Antutu score so that we can have a benchmark of comparing the ROMs and their performance. I've already taken the Antutu benchmark. For this ROM, for the Evolution X, it's 334808. So that concludes today's video. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed watching this video, press that like button. And if you have any questions regarding the video, ask in the comment section or reach out to me on my Instagram here or here. Yeah, anywhere. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.